Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna well have a little rant and I'm gonna do some housekeeping in the data center. Uh, the rant, um, well it's not as much of a rant as it's, it's kind of information because right now there is a supply difficulty um, getting new server equipment and even spare parts have started to get in short. So if you have a server within warranty and you have service on it, well, the, the brand that you are getting might have difficulties getting spare parts for the, their own brand servers because of the Corona, because of the trade war and because of, what was the last one? The general supply chain mess we're in right now. Um, so kind of all the brands has difficulties supplying new equipment and spare parts. I have a server that I ordered two and a half months ago, still haven't seen it, and um, ordered it before I went on vacation. I, that was one of the last thing I did before I went on vacation. They had all of my vacation to figure out how to send this stuff, but it hasn't arrived yet. And it has been postponed and been postponed and been postponed. So uh, sometimes next month, November. <laughs> I ordered it in August. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and I needed a new Lenovo server for work. And if I wanted the newest uh, Lenovo SR650 version 2, I'm delivery next year. If I could manage with the version 1, they, I think they can deliver this year. I'm not sure yet. I haven't gotten a delivery date on that one yet, but also difficulties there. Um, so, my advice would be, if you're running a data center, don't throw anything out at the moment. You might need your old uh, server equipment. <laughs> there might be an even bigger shortage just up around the corner, and we might not be able to get anything new for a little bit. Hopefully this will go over, but enterprise servers, we need to be prepared for most things. We make redundancy in our data centers, and right now there's a supply chain issue so we need to be prepared for that so don't throw anything out make sure that you have it and make sure you know the phone number for your local broker if you need something very often you can't get a new one but you can get a refurbished one often so yeah just a little brand on that leave in the comments if you have had any supply chain issues uh, getting your hardware i am very interested in that there has been the GPU crisis for way too long, but um, I think that's another crisis. <laughs> so, maintenance of the day. Um, we took the awesome IBM slash Lenovo X3650 Model 4 out of production a couple of weeks ago. I had a lot of issues with the internet. It seems, seems that I've solved it. I have no idea how, but it went away. And uh, I did that video on the on the FS SFP Plus programming box just last week, and um, yeah, I purchased that because I thought that I needed it to fix the internet issue. But before that arrived, the internet issues had fixed itself. So I'm gonna take that out, and I think it needs a good clean. I want to check what RAM blocks are in this. I don't think it, it needs to sit in the rack with a. I think it had 200 and. 56 gigabytes of RAM or something like that. I'll, I'll check that. We'll take some drives out or something. So have a good look at it. Also, I have the, a server down here. Can you see that? Uh, this one uh, it might be just outside of you. The Acer server that uh, Bargain Hardware so kindly donated so that I could promote it. I think I left some good RAM in there. I need to uh, go and replace that as well. So I took it out of what I'm selling in my little shop and uh, it needs to go back there. Otherwise, when someone orders it, uh, I need to do the work then. And then I might not have the time. So let's uh, dig into it. So oh, the easiest one is the, is the Asus server here. Bargain hardware. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. It doesn't have rails, uh, so it's just on some. Oh, it's just on top of the other server. I've been really lazy there. So let's open sesame on this. We have seen this. There is multiple video. Oh yeah, I have left the good RAM in here. 
pressure. I am going to ground myself and I'm not going to call it ground. I'm going to make sure that my power levels <laughs> are the same as the server here so that when I touch the RAM I am not just compared to the server. So um, I should now be the same power level as this. You can also just touch the chassis. But I have... Oh, let's get rid of this. Uh, slight out of the way. I have left some uh, 32 gigabyte blocks in here. So, uh, Samsung blocks. Oh, that was the weird ones that you only have to pop them up on one side and then the other side is not poppable. <laughs> That really messed with me when I was doing this server. I'm gonna take these blocks out and return them to the shop. To be quite honest, I do not like this system where only one of them pops up. It feels like you're breaking the block when you're removing it. I also see that I have left a, uh, a, a disc down here. We're gonna take that out as well. I forget what that might be, but an NVMe drive. And I see that the elastic bands don't last long. They are just rubbish. What a, what a joke. The cooler is still on there. I think that's about it. So when uh, Bargain Hardware sent me this server, they actually supplied some RAM with it. That we took out as we did a video upgrading it to the maximum amount of RAM. That, uh, at least that I had available. And I see that it does only go up to 32 gigabyte blocks. So uh, now the maximum amount of RAM that is possible to put in the server, we had that in there. On the back of the LED here, it tells us a lot about how and what everything is and how it works and stuff like that. So very handy to remember to look at the back of the lid here. I'm going to put these blocks in and there's an explanation of how to do that up here. There is an explanation if you have one processor in here and if you have two processors in here. So if you have one block of memory, it goes in there. If you have two blocks of memory, there and there. If you have four blocks of memory, well, those four slots there. And so on. So it, it doubles every time. One, two, four, eight, twelve. Ah, okay. Twelve, that's not double. I messed that up. Twelve and sixteen blocks. We will put on a pair of glasses and we'll do that. So four blocks we need to put in A1 and B1, E1 and F1. And down here on the little schematic here says which is which. They didn't bother to put anything on the on the system board, so I need to check it out here and see which which ones are the ones. On the schematics here I can see that the slot one is always furthest away from the CPU, so just out in the corners. So we'll just put them out here and remember that it only clicks in from the one side, otherwise I'll just again look stupid on video. Oh, I see that I forgot one more thing over here. Another one <laughs> with uh, broken elastic bands. So uh, that's not optimal. Also the riser cards, they have these metal things to mount on the graphics cards to um, direct the airflow. And uh, I took those off because I was using some other graphics cards that really wasn't meant to go in here. Plus I took off a stiffener that should uh, go over here. I left the screws in it, I see. That, that was wise. So, yeah, I'm going to put this stuff back in because otherwise I'm just going to have it laying around stupid places where I'm never going to need it. And if it's in the server, well, it's, it's right where I would ever need it. Okay, I, I was missing one of the metal boxes and here we can see what it's meant for. It's uh, you can mount it on the GPU, 
and that way uh, the air will go through the GPU and out the back instead of going all the way around it and stuff so yeah that will go it will kind of go up here and put into uh, to place like that and then there is uh, kind of nowhere else for the air to go when uh, when you do it like that so yeah I'm gonna dismount that and put that in I think I have also left some drives in here but I need to check oh this is the original um, Hitachi 400 gigabyte SSD that uh, bargain hardware delivered the server with and it's a SAS SAS SSD that is good there we have one of mine need to take that out oh security talks mm. this little set of security talks was sent to me by Philips I believe in the UK and I have been using it way more than I would have ever expected so uh, thank you I think I've been lazy and only mounted each of these with one screw could that be right yep lazy Borden another one I use this for um, chia mining for a little bit actually quite a bit so uh, this SSD has done some chia mining they should still be good I haven't done enough cheer to actually wear them out oh uh, we have a 10 terabyte Great. there let's get that out oh. I have been really lazy only put one screw in each of them I think we've done This server was sent to me from Bargain Hardware in the UK. It was a gift for me to promote them. And if you use the affiliate code, my playhouse, small letters, you get 5% off of all of your purchases at Bargain Hardware. So uh, yeah, thank you. Okay, there were way more stuff in there than I was expecting. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I need to do a bit of cleanup here. I don't think we're gonna get to the other server. I think this is quite enough hardware mingling around for now so 16 blocks of 32 gigabytes are back in the shop if you're interested and um, they have been tested they were all good so I didn't get around to the IBM x3650 bottle 4 today I, uh, I <laughs> took the easy one and it was a bit more uh, work and stuff that I had expected but we'll get to that next time maybe um, so Visit my shop, see if any of these parts are available and, and what the crazy prices are. Um, but other than that, <laughs> thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.